What lies can I tell now? Verily, Allah promised you a promise of truth, and I too promised you, but I betrayed you. I had no power over you except that I called you and you responded to me. So blame me not, but blame yourselves. I cannot help you, nor can you help me. I deny your former act in associating me as a partner with Allah by obeying me in the life of the world. These are the words I have saved for you in the next world, but pay attention to the words I have for you now. You and I are going to have a long time together, and I will lead you astray. I will sit and wait for you at your religion and make the foolish amongst you think I don't exist. I promised Allah I would change his creation and look at you. I promised I would threaten you with poverty and look at you. I promised I would steer you like a horse and look at you. I promised to give you anxiety, sadness, and depression and look at you. I promised that you would be ungrateful and look at you. You are not the nation of Muhammad. You are the nation of Iblis. You are my nation. You will not follow your prophet into heaven. Rather, you will follow me into hell. I was told to bow to your father. How many of your fathers have bowed to me? How many of your mothers have I taught to gossip? How many of your sisters did I help undress? The best attack is the one you don't see. The best war is the one you don't know you're in. So, drink and play and fornicate. Fill your stomachs and chase your desires. Make money your religion. Make woman your worship. I only have one rule, and that is, there are no rules. What are you afraid of? Is Allah not the most forgiving? <laughs> Take my words like your prophets, because they will come true. O oh, humiliated son of Adam, you are powerless. What can you do to me? Do you even know my age? <laughs> my armies are large and scattered. So turn your fronts towards me, because you have already turned your backs towards Allah. Now, shaitan is real, and shaitan's realm is the heart. And the weaker the heart, the more powerful his whispering. The stronger the heart, the decibels go down. And if a heart is really healthy, the beat is so powerful that shaitan, he, he's screaming and, and it's not heard. The heart of a powerful man like Imam al-Nawawi, or Qadi Abu Bakr, or Imam al-Junaid, who actually said he wanted to see shaitan. He asked Allah to show him shaitan, and shaitan, one day he came to him, he saw shaitan, and this occurred to many of the believers, including Abu Huraira. And this is confirmed, because shaitan takes form. Imam al-Junaid saw shaitan in the form of an old man, and he was hideous. He said when he looked at him, his heart became filled with terror. And he said, who are you? And he said, I'm the one you wanted to see. And he said, Subhanallah, you're, the, you're Iblis? And he said, yes. And he said, I have a question for you. Why didn't you bow down to Adam? In other words, he's thinking, what a fool. You know, you, I want to understand this, right? No, this is what he wanted to do. He said, you know, what an idiot. Why, did, why didn't you bow down? He, he wanted to understand that. Why didn't you bow down to Adam? You were right there. And Allah told you to do something. You, you must be insane, right? And, and Shaitan said, yeah, Imam Junaid. How could I bow down to other than Allah? That's what Shaitan said. He said, how could I bow down to other than Allah? So, so Shaitan was pretending to Imam Jai, he was saying, you know, to Eduban, how could I bow down to other than Allah? And then he, uh, Imam Junaid said, suddenly it came into his heart. He's a liar. Had he really loved Allah, he would have obeyed Allah. And then when he said that you're a liar, and he told him Shaitan fled. Because that's a man with a big heart. So shaitan has no power. Now Allah tells us he has no authority on those who believe and they trust in their Lord. They have tawakkul ala Allah. My brothers and my sisters, the shaitan continues to put effort on you and will continue to put effort on you until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That even when you're on your deathbed, about to die, shaitan will come to you in the form of your mother or your father that passed away. And shaitan will say to you, oh son, oh daughter, do not die on Islam. We died on Islam and Islam tended to be the false religion. The plan of shaitan includes to create enmity among you and at the same time to distract you from two things. One is the remembrance of Allah and two is your prayer.